Hi YouTubers, welcome back to Vintage Fashion Hat Chat. I'm Norma Shepard, the director of the Mobile Millinery Museum and the author of five books on vintage fashion, including 1,000 hats. And I have the book with me today because I want to talk about a few of the misters, a uh, few of those designers who in the late 1960s, early 1970s, even earlier actually, began to market to a younger demographic. So they were marketing to debutantes. So now at this point, they had made a separation between um, younger women, older teens, um, and mature adults. So they had a, a line just for the younger demographic. And one of the famous designers, Lily Dashe, she even had a further line for um, sub-debs. And I'm sure some of the others did as well. But anyway, I want to talk about that today. And also I want to show you some dressy fashion hats that um, were created for the autumn season. You know, there's chill in the air. Everybody's talking about pumpkin spice, this and that. So I thought a couple of hats with what I consider pumpkin crowns uh, are what I'm going to show you today. So the first one is this terrific paisley, brightly colored uh 1970s hat. The crown is uh, appears very floppy but this is meant to hug your head so once you put it on you'll see that it's uh, it takes its shape. Um, nice little drawstring in the center crown with uh, grosgrain ribbon. The brim is wired and wait till you see how this looks. Now this is a Mr. Charles Paris, New York, also with the tag made in USA, and this great big colorful um, label with the bold graphics. That was very typical of hats from this period, and it helps you to date them, although they're pretty iconic of the era. Now I'm just going to show you how this looks on. So, so it's almost sombrero-like, the way the crown the crown hugs the head and then the brim uh, is like um, creates an exaggerated halo halo hat and it's really quite comfortable it, it's uh, quite remarkable so before I move on before I move on to the next one I just want to show you how it is pictured in the book on the red velvet mannequin head so that a hat like this certainly makes um, for a nice display. Now moving on to another one, similar yet different. This uh, is very appropriate for autumn. The wonder, the wonderful pumpkin color. Um, it almost looks like a Cinderella coach. This crown is pieced. It's actually pieced uh, with nine segments. Uh, as is the inner crown lined with satin. Again, we have this large, brightly colored label. And this is labeled Dachette, designed by Lily Dache. So, another one made in the USA. Lily Dache, of course, a famous um, American millinery designer. Um, and I just love the fact that this is <laughs> such a cozy pumpkin colored velvet. Now this sits a little differently. This crown is not meant to be pulled down and it would not. You'd have to have quite a pinhead uh, to be able to do that. Just perches on the top of your head. There is a grosgrain band and bow and uh, I think it's quite charming. Because I mentioned Lily Dashay, I'm going to show you a hat that is not made for autumn. But this is a wonderful little asymmetric cap done in white straw, gorgeous fabric flowers. And this one has a tiny little circular sticker label. Still Lily Dache creation. So the little the little green sticker is just a little price tag. It was purchased for $45 when it was purchased vintage, not new. Now, 
So that's a, quite a different label from the one that I showed you here, the Dachettes. Uh, many of the designers, all the misters, Mr. Charles, Mr. John, Mr. Frederick, uh, Mr. Arnold, Mr. Leonard, uh, they had separate lines for a younger demographic. Basically, they were marketing to debutantes, and some of them even had a, a, a level before that where they marketed to what they called sub-debs. So I'll show you one from the book that is different again, and this is Lily Dache Debs. Now there's a lot of in interesting information about Lily Dache, and um, one of the remarkable things about her is that she made her first hat at the age of five. Unfortunately, she made it from her mother's new silk blouse. So I will link my book in the description box and also a video I did on Mr. John Jr. and the uh, his regular line and his junior line. And um, I will wish you a happy day. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, please hit like, share, subscribe. Send any questions that you have through the comments and I'll be happy to respond to them. See you Thursday.